inside. That's pretty hot. It did go pretty hot. Even melted the cables, which I was more or less expecting, but yeah, it stinks quite a bit, so I melted these. I'm gonna have a quick look in the meter. It's just still bloody hot. So yeah. Shit happens, that's alright. I'll have other cable for that, no problem. And uh, you, uh, you saw when I looked at the video, this uh, line fault indicator, I didn't manage to operate it, but it forgot to take it off, so there's a bit of plastic damage in here. Uh, not to worry, I got more of these. It still should be operational anyway. Well, the meter. Um, bit smoked up, so we're going to take the cover off. Alright, so we'll see what happens, see if we can get it in there, and see what uh, damage is inside. A nice smelly time capsule. Quick look inside. Let's see a bit more. Oh yeah, it's been pretty hot inside here, look at this. Oh, the smell, the disc is brown. And the current call. Oh, it's melted there, gone open circuit. Let's see if we get the light in here properly. Melted open circuit there. So, the device has been pretty hot. I thought first the terminals will give where they screwed into the terminal block, but uh, that seemed to be alright still. So, yeah, the meter was cooked. The disc is jammed too. This is the final reading 399798.5. So, yeah, hang on. Fried meter. I'll keep this for evidency. So yeah, that's the end. So we popped the current call. It's pretty thick copper, so it has been flipping hot, I can tell you that. What was glowing red hot anyway. And yeah, some people mentioned the smoke would have been the plastic uh, former and the plastic uh, insulation wrap around these copper turns. So yeah. Thanks for watching. There will be more. I'm going to do some more experiments with other meters from the skip. So stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.